horror story, the victim keeps asking why. But there can be no explanation, and there shouldn't be one. The Xbox 360 got a one-year head start, but even with the next generation lead, it wasn't easy coming up with five or more clear specimens. With the 360's close relationship to Microsoft Windows, it's been tough to nail down what really was exclusive to the green machine. Like our list of PS3 games, we wanted to give multiple franchises a place in the spotlight, so we picked what we felt were the shiniest examples from each major series, along with a few surprise nods. The calendar of this past generation can be charted by the 360's lifespan, and these were the best reasons to take one home. Number 5. Dead Rising Looking back now, Dead Rising's plastic characters, campy storyline, and dim-witted AI can seem downright prehistoric, but it was truly innovative at a time when competitors were focusing solely on crisp HD graphics. It squeezed in more undead on screen than any game before it, and implemented a mission timing system with multiple endings that actually made staying on the mall's helicopter pad the entire time a viable option. It's a messy game, but it's one of the freshest experiences available only on the 360. The Wii's Chop Till You Drop is a bastard cousin, and we felt it didn't qualify the first game as having gone multi-platform. Leave your groans about it in the comments. Number 4. Lost Odyssey when Sakaguchi left the Final Fantasy series, it wouldn't be the last we heard of the RPG guru. At the newly established Mistwalker, Sakaguchi and his team crafted exclusive HD RPGs for Microsoft's new console, turning more than a few heads. A traditional Japanese RPG with all the elements you'd expect, Lost Odyssey's strength was in its beautiful presentation, well-crafted narrative, and a more tactical turn-based battle system with challenging battles. It felt eerily similar to the Final Fantasy games of old, perhaps more so than anything Square Enix has put out since Sakaguchi's departure. Number 3. Gears of War 2 It's hard to overstate the impact and influence of the original Gears of War, and the sequel let the developers perfect the heavy stop-and-pop action, ironing out kinks, and rolling out incredible set-piece battles that make Gears 2 the very definition of a blockbuster game. Everything that's good about the series is in this game, from horde mode to curb stomping to the bloody chainsaw kills and the brilliant active reload feature. Later sequels might have found a few things to polish or add, but this is the definitive Gears game. Number 2. Forza Motorsport 4. It may be surprising to see a car game so high on our list, but the Forza team has been relentless in its pursuit of excellence. Generous assists give anyone the chance to jump into the cockpit of their favorite car, but cash bonuses encourage you to go deeper. The massive career adapts to your tastes, recommending events according to your liking. Community features allow you to create and share gorgeous paint jobs, and multiplayer lets you join in serious competition or unwind in silly playground games. It's the full package and the ultimate car game of this generation. Number 1. Halo 3 We were asked to finish the fight, and we did. Mascots may be dead, but the spirit lives on, with ODST, Reach, 4, Anniversary, and even the RTS Halo Wars making sure Halo was around for most of the Xbox 360's existence. In the end, we've settled on Halo 3 as the shining knight of the series, introducing the Forge and ushering Combat Evolved into the HD era fantastic multiplayer, as well as a captivating story that featured a real conclusion and the lure of what was to come, places Halo 3 as the king, undeterred by Flood, Covenant, or even Red Rings. Ma'am, squad leaders are requesting a rally point. Where should they go? To war. <laughs>